Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Now, bro, Danny, Danny, Danny. You want me to call Terry today? You want me to call P? You want me to call one of them from URL? Do you want me to get you in the crucible? Like, literally. I might not have enough pull to make sure you get on it, but I do have enough pull to send your footage to somebody. To at least say, yo, check this guy out. Cause yo, shout out to Chris Unbiased. I seen the tweet today and I'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll open up Twitter, I'll scroll a couple times and I'll be out, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of things going on and it is what it is. Like, I can't stay in that content all day long. I used to love, I love Twitter, but you gotta start detaching yourself. But I seen, he tweeted, Yo, you moving like a crucible, like a PG. Like, what is wrong with you right now? This shit is crazy. I'm gonna break it down, right? So Danny goes on an interview yesterday with Drizzy Jr. TV, respectfully. Respect to what he got going on. You know, he used to be a black comic. He left, he starts doing his own thing. Building his channel, doing a lot of interviews, stream yard. Well, salute, right? Why am I heading home at like 12 o'clock last night and I see Danny in a whole panel interview explaining why Easy doesn't have his deposit, which is probably less than a thousand dollars, because he was trying to like sixteen fifty. I, I took the least money on the card. Do you need me to send Easy your deposit back, and you just give it to me on Saturday? Point in time was it for your felly? Easy called you, said how much you want. You say, hey, this is what I want. So at that point in time, when he asked you how much you want, was it for your family or was it for Easy? Because it was, it was for, for Easy. Easy. It was for so, Easy. So how are you thinking about your family? Then it, it, it was, was for your family for the job. No, so no, what are you thinking about? Relax. Now, 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 this one, y'all know the air horns and all the Don DeMarco's. Nah, nah, ain't no Don DeMarco. You just give it to me on Saturday to end this, my nigga. Call me today, bro, because this shit is out of hand, bro. Like, I'm damn near ready to pay it for you, my nigga. Like, and I don't even battle rap. Like, what are you doing right now? You need, do you want to be in the Crucible? Phase one? You want to need me to get you out to Memphis or wherever they're going to have that shit this year? Because, bro, I don't think that you think you're a legend. I don't think so. At this point, I seriously, I'm seriously starting to consider that you don't think you are a legend and i need you to see this blog i don't want to call nobody i just had i had a phone conversation with you when i was doing a documentary and you was like yo i'm about to stop i ain't going back and forth i ain't saying nothing no more and now you up here with a panel of drizzy salute to him and, a, and people that i wouldn't even know if i walked past in walmart my nigga what are you doing who is this nigga's manager can i be his manager for a week i guarantee you this shit wouldn't be going on and how are you jumping off of a car Lord Jesus, send the flood. Jesus, send the flood. We need to end this shit, right? Send the flood again, please. Send, send another, the flood part two, send it. Because how are you, as a battle rap legend, somebody that's been doing this forever, ever, ever, online explaining yourself at almost one o'clock in the morning to, to <laughs> and uh, he getting in on you, he going in on If it wasn't for your family, I think the kid's name was Zeus, salute to him. Uh, he going in on you, and rightfully so, because he's looking at it, you're like, yo, Daniels just gave me an opportunity to grill him about not paying easy back his deposit. Oh, I'm going in. And rightfully so, he went in on you, and I'm just like, Danny, there's no winning on the internet. There is no winning. Once people grab a narrative or grab something about you or want to try to sensationalize, and I'm not saying they did this to do that. They got an interview with you, you jumped on the platform, they asked you questions. There's nothing wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what happens. If a mother will interview you, you accept it. I'll take you back, right? So Bill Collector, when he had his little situation, like last week, with all of the, you know, he leaked the card, he leaked the card, like it really mattered, like they wasn't gonna find out anyway. Like, I, I thought, that you see, I never said one negative thing about Bill Collector. I don't think he really, he told me he didn't do it, I don't care if he did it. I really don't. I don't care if he released it, because they were going to find out anyway. What, what part of that didn't y'all get? While everybody was trying to be mad at Bill Collector, who cares if he gave the card to them the first day or the day before the event? It does not matter. They were going to find out and they were coming for their artists anyway. That's just how I think. Free thinking. Secondly, I told Bill, do not do any interviews. I don't care. You explained yourself on the live stream. They grinded you up. You was on Easy's joint. Easy was the one that was going to try to book you. He, he, he alleges, you know, his, his, his word is that he only gave the card to you and et cetera, et cetera. You went there, everybody grinded you up. I called you, I said, yo, what the hell's going on with this shit, man? 
I said, bro, stop fucking talking about this. Give it 24 to 48 hours. This is battle rap and nobody will give a fuck about it no more. Do not do any other interviews. I don't care if you got an interview scheduled with uh, damn Don Lemon, nigga. Do not do no fucking interviews. Anderson Cooper, do not do no interviews. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, nobody gives a fuck. You're only going to get gr grilled up. What did he do? I don't know who else he had interviews where he canceled them and people stopped talking about it. Then, you have to understand. You volunteered to jump on an event of a non-sanctioned league, regardless of whether it was in contracts or whatever case when it was, you know, like I know, like we all know that URL is not fucking with easy right now. And anything that he has going on, if anybody wants to get near it, they're going to block it. You know this. I don't know why you're acting like you don't. I, 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 I'm not even a battler, and I know from behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, from the conversations that I have to the conversations that I hear, that they don't fuck with nothing he got going on. You made a conscious decision to jump on that event. And then when other people started backing out, what did you do? What did you do? Tell me what you did. You know what you did? You made a conscious decision to stay on the card. You said, nobody ain't called me yet. And I told you the day of, did I not? I called you and said, yo, what's going on with this? Yo, I'm not, they're not really feeling the energy. They're getting artists off the card. What are you doing? What you tell me? What did you tell me? Oh, now nah, I'm gonna stand on it. I'm staying on the car, blah, 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 blah. I battle wherever I want. I battle every weekend. You battle every weekend. Yes, you do, but you don't battle every weekend for no easy to fucking block captain. That's what you don't do. You don't battle every weekend for ARP, and you don't battle every weekend for King of the Dot. Exactly. You battle every week for uh, Ruffle Ships Battle League and Nigga on the Corner Battle League and Taco Bell Tony. You battle there. Those battles that's not gonna do more than 10, 15,000 views. That's where you battle. You talking about, I got Miss Hustle on Gnome Impact, Gnome Impact. What's the first thing they told you after you said that? You can go watch the interview. Y'all go watch the interview. Nobody cares about that fucking car, Daddy. No impact. We don't care. They don't even care about what you got going on. You are a legend. And people don't even care. You're probably going to get booed. Like, I'm being serious. In Philly, you come back to Philly, it's going to be a rough night for you. You don't even know the irre irreversible damage that you do when you lose public trust. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're damaging your own brand. You are over 40 here explaining yourself to random strangers. It is what it is. I don't even know him, and I do media. <laughs> I don't even, I, I know who Drizzy is, and I think Ricky, he used to, I know him, but I don't know these guys, is what I'm saying. I don't know them enough for you to be fucking sitting there explaining yourself to them. How many interviews do I have sitting up explaining myself to anybody about anything, anytime? Zero, because I don't give a fuck about what you think about me, and that's the truth. There's people, there was people online the other day, out of this, out of that. What did I say about any of them? What did I say about any of them? Nothing, because guess what? Nothing that anyone says is going to affect anything that I have going on. You can't call up there. <laughs> Danny, I just landed. I'm so disappointed, bro. I just landed on one of the top four networks in New York. Top four. You know what I'm saying? You can Google it. I landed there through battle rap, through talking about battle rap. You think I landed there by arguing and going back and forth with people? Do you think, do you, do you think that I landed there by going back and forth and arguing with people that I don't know? You cannot change the opinions of strangers. If people don't rock with you, if people not, listen, and, I'm a, and it is what it is, I'll talk about this as long as I want, this is my channel, you don't watch, don't like it, don't watch it, press stop it. URL is in, you know, Embroidal situation with easy to block captain right now. They feel like he they signed him to a five-year contract with a uh, Option for six. Do I like them tired of deals? Absolutely not especially with no guaranteed money. Absolutely not I've already explained this and I'll stand I'll fall on that sword They're in a war with him. They want to end what he has going on. They were calling MCs They were pulling them off the card Reed even got a call but Reed just dubbed it until he was done with the battle That's what he did I know that. I know people who know people who know what, what happened. Reed was called. They wanted to get him off the car too. They wanted to end the event. You chose to stay in that car, which was riding with Easy, until you got that phone call. And let's just stop this, bro. You were getting called. The, the first call that you got, that was not the last. You probably got a hundred calls from everybody. I heard they were ramping it up from this person was calling you, then Beasley was calling you, then this person was calling you, then that person was calling you. And then they hit your ass with that final offer. Are you gonna stay or are you gonna go play? And you, you, you alone have made yourself so dispensable by the amount of shit that you do, by battling 40 times a month, that it doesn't, 
You you be you you turning yourself into a throwaway. You're gonna be like, yo, we ain't good. We have no reason to keep you here. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? You think they would call Calico with that ultimatum if he was on a trenches car? Do you think they would call a verb if he was on a trenches car with that bullshit? Do you think they would call goods? Huh? Do you think they would call Hollow? Do you think they would call Charlie Clips? Do you think they would call DNA? Do you think they would call Arsenal? Do you? I can name. 35 MCs, do you think they will call and hit them with that bullshit? You know why you got hit with that bullshit? Because you made yourself successful and accessible to bullshit. You're the one out here taking battles every week for 1,500, 300, 750, 900. I know you got 35 kids, but goddamn, my nigga, like, might want to go get a union job and be a working man if this is going to be the route you're going to go because you are tarnishing your legacy. Now you have to go up there, stand in front of Miss Hustle with Miss Hustle and get booed and get heckled and get people talk, calling you out for doing this. And then what makes it even worse is them easy don't have his deposit back yet. Bro, the deposit was, was, wasn't was over $1,000. So you doing all this battling and a nigga can't call you today, want their money back and you give them their money back. Let me tell you when I would have gave his deposit back. I would have gave his deposit back soon as I backed off the car. I would have been like this. I would have had your phone in the hand. I would have wrote the message, whatever you was going to say as your excuse. I would have sent him his money back and then sent him the message. His, he should have had his money back already. Now you looking crazy. Yes, Easy can feel how he feels. Yes, he can bomb on you in public. Yes, he can use his social media platform to go on you. Yes, he's embroiled in a war and they used you as a pawn. You are not signed to that league. They're gonna book you when they wanna book you. And that's just what it's gonna be. You don't have no leverage over there. You hold no water over there. You hold no water at your i don't care what nobody tells you i don't care about what offers they get nigga they brought you back and you don't even have a back end you have a front end you don't even have your front you don't have your money to give this man you talking about the lord hammer jesus send the flood send the flood jesus i i i just don't even know what to say at this point and you talking about you don't know man nigga did you you up here writing and you ain't got this nigga money back you ain't go get to yo duck yo where my money at b where my money Niggas robbed you? You let them niggas duffing them niggas rob you? Yo, you gonna be selling? Oh my goodness! But go find that man, B. Go find that man, and don't come back until you find that man. You niggas gonna be selling work in Staten Island or some shit somewhere, fucking around with this, cause it's crazy, bro. And you're letting them use you as a pawn, and you're out here still doing the interviews. Didn't you do an interview with Angry Fan, Gwitty? Harlem legend and all of them, like a couple days ago, you don't think that's a big enough fucking platform to get your message across? <laughs> Why are you back doing another interview? You can't explain that. Why? There's absolutely no reason. I'm thinking in my mind, all right, cool. Danny, he's in the fryer right now. They're cooking him up, all these other channels, all these other platforms. He should know to just shut the fuck up for the rest of the week and go battle on Saturday. He should. <laughs> nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. And then you started off your battle. And this is, you know what comes up to my mind when you start doing dumb shit like this? And you're still my man. I still fuck with you. You can still, I still tell you the same thing. But Danny, do you remember your battle versus Av? Because I do. Because I... I'll let the gadgets pray. Hey, GM, can I ask y'all a question? Will this nigga panic in a room if I back out the 40 like yesterday? That's how you started your round, right? You started your round about the 40 backing out at the panic room like 40 did yesterday, right? And now you up here doing the same shit. You literally up here doing the same shit. And I, 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 I really feel like, do you, do you want to be in the, in, the, in the next Ultimate Madness tournament? The, the young guy tournament, the $25,000 one? Because you, you'd like the reverse of Benjamin Button in battle rap. Like you take a reverse step every day, my nigga. Is the parallel universe got to be real? Cause you grown in this world, and you need uh, you need your hand held in the next world. They knew they could get you. Like <laughs> they let you know why they let you stay on the card. I'm gonna tell you why. You know why they let you stay on the card? Because they knew they could come get you later. <laughs> they knew they could. Oh, we got him. Don't even worry about it. We gotta worry about. It. Let's get these other niggas all swung. Oh, now nah, you got to go. <laughs> oh, Bill, now nah, you can't do that. Uh, uh, Trufo. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Who else? Whatever else was on the card. Holmesy Pratt. Nah, yeah, yeah. They knew they could go get you last. <laughs> we know we used to call people like you Old Faithful. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a joint named Old Faithful. Old Faithful is the chick that you could call no matter what the time is, 
No matter what you got going on, if you need a ride, if you need to go somewhere at 3 in the morning, Old Faithful always available. You are URL's Old Faithful. They can call you at any fucking moment. They don't have to call you first. You call the new joints first and everything that you're trying to deal with, the, the motion, you call them bad ones first. When everything else fails, when you're on your way home, uh, that's your Old Faithful doing. <sighs> hey, what you on? Man, I just got off work lying. Uh, man, I, I, what you want? I can come by. You want me to come by? All right, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. <laughs> you are old faithful to them niggas. Period. You are online arguing with people that you don't even fucking know. I guarantee you ain't had a conversation with half them niggas on that panel. No disrespect to anybody there. No disrespect to anyone there. But when I first came into battle rap, you think I could, uh, what was going on at the time? Charlie Clips was, uh, was uh, you know, choking and fucking up in battles and shit. Verb was on his pay verb shit. You think I could call any one of them niggas and get them online and start grilling them down about why they ain't do this and why they ain't do that? Them niggas would have never even spoke to me. Smart. I can't even tell you to smart enough no more. Just hit me up today. If you need me as a fucking blogger to send, well, I'm an analyst now, but do you need me to send Easy his deposit back and you just give it to me after the event on Friday? I'm, I'm damn near willing to help you out right now. I won't tell nobody. I just want to make the story go away from me. You know my number, just hit me. I give it to him today, you give it back to me on Saturday or whatever y'all niggas battle on them. We can do it like that because this is crazy. I'm the one who made, y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened, he got smoked and that's when Danny was battling every day, losing battles and shit like that. I'm the one that got behind you and up, pause. I'm the one that was helping you when nobody was fucking with you to help you get the hollow battle, to help you get a lot of the positions that you in with my blogs, the influence and a lot of other bloggers, angry fan and a lot of people that was, you know, Really, really holding it down. Legendary people in this game. And this is what you're doing? You look fucking crazy out here. I don't even want to talk no more. You, you got me so mad, I don't even got no intro today, bro. Nigga ain't got his deposit back. <laughs> and it's less than $1,000? <laughs> nah, fam. You got to quit this shit. I'm out.